Alright, welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Yellow walkthrough. Uh, one Pokemon is poisoned. And that is Sandshrew, so he's definitely gonna faint by the time we get to Cerulean. But, yeah, last episode we made it out of Mount Moon. I was gonna say Mount Cave there for a second. And now we're gonna head over to Cerulean, take on the Nugget Bridge folks. I think there was like a Team Rocket recruiting scheme. But we're gonna beat them into the ground and pick up a starter on the bridge, after the bridge. I'm pretty sure you can get a starter at this point. One of the original Kanto starters. Don't know which one, don't remember exactly which one. Might be a Bulzor or a Charmander. Might be a Charmander given the fact that they Misty's a water type gym. And they don't want to make it too easy, I'm sure. So let's just heal up and get started with the bridge. My dog is like right under me. She likes to run around under my legs for some reason. Just to pass through. Alright, so we're chilling with a Pikachu, a Pidgey, and a Sanchiru. Pidgey, I'm sure Pidgey. Pidgey. Uh, Vols a little 18, I'm, I believe, so almost have a Pidgeotto there. Right now, Pikachu's the uh, golden child for Misty. So, uh, let's. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Gary, too. Strong and smart Pokemon. Wow. So, I guess he has an Abra. So, let's beat Gary again. I feel sorry for this kid, because he's never going to win against me. You tell him, Pikachu. This should make quick work. Although, his spear is level 18 and my strength. Oh, level 17. A little disconcerting. But I'm sure we'll pull through. Either either way. Oh, he's got a Sandshrew too. I am not sure if he has a ground move just yet. But better, better play it safe than sorry. I wonder if he has, he's evolved his Eevee at this point or not. I forgot which battle he actually uh, evolves it, or you actually fight against its evolved form. But I think it would, if I remember correctly, I think it's based on like the win-loss that you've had up until that point against Gary. If I'm remembering correctly. That annoying tone there. Uh, let's send in Sanshiro. Battle's not easy, but it's certainly not difficult. I'd rather have a smaller team of deliberate Pokemon than just catching any and everything and just rotating everything out all the time. Although I hope there's some good HM spread amongst these Pokemon. I don't even I try to give it as much consideration as possible, but oh well. Alright, starter versus starter. Let's go. I have no doubt in my mind that we're not gonna pull this through. But I sh did get rid of Thunder Wave. Okay. Oh well. Back in the days where Tackle did not have perfect accuracy. I was recently playing uh, Gold Pokemon Gold. And the difference is just, it's astounding between Generation 1 and 2. Definitely made some improvements. One of the things in Generation 2 they never uh, talk about again or bring up, the fact that Bill essentially creates time travel. 
and they just never bring it up again. Ever. It's like, oh, you just casually created time travel. Don't mind me. So let's heal up again, because I did not... I totally forgot about that Gary battle. So... With this, I'm probably just going to play through the main story, just beat the Elite Four and then Gary again. And let that be that. Because this game doesn't have a post-game at all, other than just catching Mewtwo. Which I really don't need, because it's not like I'm going to be transferring these Pokemon or anything. I don't even think you can get Mewtwo to transfer Mewtwo to Pokemon Sword. They eliminated Mewtwo. He got snapped out of existence. But we're just gonna go through this route here and then end it before the gym, before Misty, so. That shall be this episode's mantra. A foe. A training of. training episode, essentially. Finally! My dog just threw her bone. Huskies are weird. Alright. Finally get some Evos going on this team. But it's not like Pidgeotto's good Pokemon either. But it's serviceable. Inkling that Misty's Pokemon are probably going to be pushing level 20. Like 20, 21. So I'm hoping I can get some training off here. And then, depending on the level of the starter that I get, I would have to do some further training. Hopefully, it's at least a Squirtle or a Bulbasaur. That way I can either stalemate or raffle stomp Misty. Sanshu's uh, putting in work. It's not going to be used at all during the gym, so I'll go get his training in now. Pikachu you can learn like Thunderbolt soon. Alright, I think Sanshu can handle this. Okay, get poisoned. I called it, I knew it. Uh, Sanshu likes getting poisoned. No Pokemon I just forgot existed was Zangoose. I don't know why I was thinking about a Zangoose just now, but I just remember that Pokemon existed. Pidgeotto. See what you can do. Okay, okay good. Back, back in this gen the earlier generations, move would just mi moves would just miss for no reason whatsoever. Like why did why does supersonic and tackle miss? Or I shouldn't say miss, but they wouldn't fail or they wouldn't affect the target Pokemon for no reason. 
Typically, I would just run through that bridge without healing. But I do want to make sure my team gets an even spread here. An equal chance to shine. So I definitely don't want to have just one Pokemon like 10 levels over. If they have any marketing people at Game Freak, they just know what, at this point what Pokemon is like. Oh, this Pokemon's gonna be a hit, or the fans are gonna love this Pokemon. Let's make sure we get marketing on it. Like for reasons I can't explain. Snom, if I'm pronouncing that right, Snom, Snom, that Ice Bug from Pokemon Sword and Shield. Some it's like blowing up in popularity for some reason. I wonder if they knew that was going to happen. They purposely designed it that way. At this point, I wouldn't be shocked. Slowly but surely, whittle them down. Almost done here. Two more battles, and we can get the start. I don't need to see the stat enhancements for Pikachu. Alright, Team Rocket Recruiter. Maybe in a future Pokemon game, what I would like to see from a, a the, the region's villainous team is the some sort of emotional stake there. Like maybe the professor is actually the leader of the evil team, and he gives Pokemon out to future recruits. Like make the make the evil team more interesting. Other than just generic bad guy wants to do generic things. But I'll say this now before I get to eventually Pokemon Sword walkthrough. With Pokemon Sword, like the graphical enhancements that they've made up until Pokemon Sword. It would be awesome to see a region, a new region, based on Greece. Like imagine like going through Santorini in a Pokemon game. So that would be awesome. That's where the next region needs to be uh, located. But somehow make it different enough from Hoenn, where it's not all just islands and water. And I just like thought about this. There really isn't any surf spots in a uh, Galar. I don't know how you pronounce that. Galar region. And it is a Charmander. I 
What level is it at? 10, it's not terrible. No. Pretty decent, pretty decent. It's not winning any awards, but you know. I think we can move on. Sanshu really needs to start pulling its weight. Or it's gonna get left behind. I would send in Charmander, but it's two weeks, so Sanshu, you're up. Might just train Sanshu off screen, or, or not Sanshu, uh, Charmander off screen. Although it doesn't really need training. No. Because after Brock, I get them to level 10. It's a very rigid training regime. Regimen. Let's finish this route up. We can end the episode there. There's no uh, catching or training that we need to do, so we're just gauntlet of trainers, and that's it. Might be a hiker. Yep. Paralyze off on him. Get the parahex going. And the Geo dude. That no one can touch. Still don't have an answer to rock types here. Yeah, no answer to rock types. And that's where Bubbles War and Squirtle come in. And I get dig in that house that Officer Jenny was guarding, so once I get that and teach that to Sandshrew, then the world will open up. Other than the following Pikachu, I'm curious what other features in this game that they didn't carry over to Generation 2. Shouldn't have been not it shouldn't have been much. Nobody has like a grass type or, or a bug type or something. Um, lob an easy Pokemon at Charmander here. I'm glad I got rid of this annoying chirping noise.
Alright. Not too bad, but my Pokemon keep getting uh, injured here. There's a point in the in the game where you're just like beating Pokemon with one shot and you're just cruising through battles, but I feel like we haven't gotten there yet. I have no idea when that point's gonna be. We are finally done beating that thing. Uh, should I teach it slam? No. It's not gonna make good use of it anyway. Don't do everybody on my team <laughs> for that onyx. We need a gr something. Hopefully we'll be getting that something really soon. Where are these people catching these Pokemon? I don't even know if you can find a slow poke this early. Alright. Another hiker right there. Hopefully it's the one with fighting type Pokemon this time. And not a a rock ground one. Maybe I'm wrong, and it's like a fire breather or something. Or a cue ball. Pretty sure they had those back then. I'm glad they gave these Pokemon color, too. Start learning some moves. Curious that they purposely gave a lot of Pokemon weaker moves just to make the game feel longer, you know? Alright, let's see what this guy has. It's a hiker, alright. Jeez, these rock types are such a hassle. Should have let him come out further. I think there was like some sort of TM in there or something. Maybe like he has like a bug type or something. This guy looks like he uses grass types or a bug type. You can't tell I really want to train up this Charmander. good enough. It's just level 12. Should still be able to hold his own. Such broken moves. Pretty sure it's gonna use like rap or something, and I'm gonna think. Yeah. Well, I think I can switch out. Do I just wanna risk it? Yeah, let's risk it. You win wars with guts. I 
You didn't even gain a level after all that. I risked it for nothing. Alright. Two more trainers. We should have a potion. How do we not have a potion? I'm useless. Everyone loves Ekans on this route. We have Charmander a break. Good to know that Sanshu still doesn't learn any good moves at that level. I think, I think mine's level 15 or 16, so never mind. Last battle, let's go. Hey, we finally found the grass user. A little bit too late. Seen to play like other Game Boy Color games from this era just to see how Pokemon actually compared to other games to its peers. To see if it, it was worthy of becoming a smash a sensation. But no, this, uh, this video game series is actually it's pretty fun. It's really fun. I've had fun with it for 20 years. Yeah, 20 years. Although Dexit was such a disappointment, I'm, still, I'm going to look at future Pokemon games with such a critical eye now. I'm pretty sure you can survive this unless you get a lucky crit. Although all crits are lucky. So. Trying to get that Charizard. Let's talk to Bill here. Let's do his thing. I wonder what Pokemon he's supposed to be. Like a Kangaskhan or something? Bill is like the smartest person in the Pokemon universe. And nobody ever talks about him in future games. He's fusing with the Pokemon, he created time travel in Generation 2, like... This dude is doing it all, because he's bored. It's Pikachu. Where's the Pokemon that he fused with, though? Alright, we got the ticket for SSN before it crashes. Alright, Pikachu, let's go. Alright, so I'm gonna end the episode here. Uh, 
Next episode, we're going to dedicate that to Misty's challenge, which I'm not anticipating any issues like Brock. So, yeah, we'll just end it right here in the middle of nowhere, looking over the sea. But uh, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.